Hey, it's Mike, Muscle Car Syndicate. Now, this isn't your typical muscle car, right? I mean, it's supposed to be a muscle car page, but before he was a 1969 Dodge D100 Adventurer. Short bed, obviously, as you can see, it's a half ton, but it's a factory 383 truck. Now, that's not the same as the 383s in the cars of the same era. I believe it was 258 horsepower. There were two barrels, but still, I mean, pretty cool. A factory big block, short box, you know, half ton, two wheel drive pickup, kind of a kind of a factory muscle truck. The color is called Torador Red, not to be confused with Tor Red for Plymouth. And it was a 727 automatic, eight and three quarter rear. Well, now it's got a 360 backed by a 727, still has the eight and three quarter. Black interior. Now the Adventurer package got you uh, some fancier stuff like that chrome front bumper, a chrome grill, you know, you got the wheel trim, the molding trim, or whatever, the wheel well trim, I can't talk today. Lower trim, Adventurer badges like you see on the quarter panel there. Let's go ahead and get, get this fancy pinstripe. Roof drip roll molding. A headliner, some nice chrome trim that would have been holding it in. As you can see, it's sagging. You could get a chrome rear bumper and you could get what they called buddy buckets. So you had a bucket seat with a bucket seat with a fold down armrest that flipped up to make it a bench if you, you know, needed to have three people in the vehicle. Somebody uh, bastardized it with this steering column. I have no idea what it's out of, but there's a factory original out of a 69 that'll be going in it. I also have another dash because this one's pretty chopped up. I got another windshield. Oh, here's another portion is right there. You see that black upper trim pad. It also have adventurer badges, which you can see up on the dash. You see the dash was cut for a CD player or something, but and it would have, you always see that chrome strip at the bottom. That's also would have had a carpeted, oh, like a applique or whatever you want to say. <clears throat> this one has the chrome rear bumper, which are apparently pretty hard to find. This one's pretty straight. The front bumper is to be desired. Just kind of bent and twisted and torn. And unfortunately, the only one I have found uh, for sale was $695. Used, obviously. Don't reproduce anything really for these. A company called like X Line reproduces some uh, sheet metal for the interior. They have a lower step well. Let's see if I can get this door open one handed because it's kind of a screwed up process here it's gonna fight me you watch hey look at that see so dodge had these step wells that's why they all rust out floors got rot that lower hinge has rot that's why the door runs into the fender it causes problems we'll look right here you see right there where it says engine 383 D100 for the model. So it's a factory 383 short bed two wheel drive. It's got these cool 15 by 10 car rallies on it. Just on the rear, the front are standard 15 sevens. Somebody at about one point spray bombed or I don't know the whole Underside black looks good. They cleared from about right here down. They didn't do the roof of the cab. They didn't do the hood or the cowl. So I'm gonna have to finish clearing it. She obviously needs some work, but It'll be fun at something different. Um, I've had a lot of 67 to 72 Chevy pickups. Only one of those was a factory short bed. Um, this is my first swept line. My dad had a 71 when I was a kid. Pretty sure it was a 71. It was white. He got T-boned in it. And it, that was the end of that truck. But this thing would have been a pretty cool uh, uptown cruiser back in the day. Who knows? You use it for work. During the day, they take it out for supper at night, cruise the town, you never know. 
I'm sure it did a few burnouts in this time. I think the sliding rear window may have also been part of that package because I've seen other adventurers with it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm not an expert on these trucks because this is my first one, but a little bit of rot there too at the bottom of the, where the cowl wraps around to meet the fender. Sorry, it's kind of, you know, really cramped up inside here. This is where it's going to sit for winter storage. Um, the blue one you can see just uh, to the right there is a friend of mine's. It's a factory 200 crew cab. I painted the doors. I do uh, pinstriping and lettering and such. But this is uh, an old, I think, old Air Force or Navy truck. So, you know. It's another thing I like about it. I thought somebody added these turn signal indicators off of a you know, B body or an E body or whatever Mopar, but I think they're factory. So I saw another one that was for sale that had them on it. Um, and they were also, they were done so well. <laughs> I, I was really applauding the person that put them in because they were so uniform, but. Like I said, I have a new windshield. It's got to get a new gasket. I heard they're kind of hit and miss on quality. Um, I'm just going to fix this headliner. Leave the interior pretty ratty. I'm going to swap the dash out, swap the steering column out. Finish clearing it and then as you saw I, I paint so my plan is to do a scat pack B right here between the body line from here down to the chrome um, from the uh, 69 super B ad I'm going to use the scat pack B as kind of turn sideways um, and I'm going to do a Dodge performance clinic type setup on it and then just basically to be like advertising scat pack for 69 like like this truck drove around with Dick Landy's Dodge Performance Clinic um, back in 69. So just something different. Uh, I could take it places like at Mopar's in the park and things like that and just kind of show it off. Mopar's in the Mississippi. I doubt I'll ever make it to Carlisle, but. So that's it. If you like what you see, hit subscribe, share it, tell your friends, leave a comment. All that stuff helps. If you don't, I'm sorry. So I'm also on Instagram under the same name, Mike at Muscle Car Syndicate. So you just got to type in Muscle Car Syndicate, you'll find me. Uh, I got Mo, uh, the Mopar. Man, I'm having problems today. I have the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals coming up. So I'll be there in a few weeks doing some videos and taking pictures. And, and uh, yeah, so look for me there. And thanks for watching.